What about the latest trend with raw and undercooked, undercooked food? Is it a safe trend? Well, we sent Dr. Sears to a raw food restaurant and he got a taste. Hey guys, behind me is a very popular restaurant here in Los Angeles, but inside you're not gonna find any eggs, dairy, or meat of any kind. As a matter of fact, this place doesn't even have a stove. That's because everything here is served raw. Chef Giuliano. Jim, how's it going? Good, man. Nice to see you. I'm curious, what are the advantages of eating raw? Well, you feel great all the time. This is a pasta that we make here. This is just seaweed. The cream sauce is pine nuts. Wow, it tastes like pasta with cream sauce on it. Okay, so I'm sure a lot of people out there wonder, can they get enough protein eating Absolutely. this kind of food? Absolutely, you know, your body makes protein, calcium, everything you need, it just needs fuel to do so. And if you look at the meat eaters in Africa, like lions, uh, hyenas, they live 18 years and sleep 18 hours a day. Mm -hmm. Well, the zebra, the elephant live 30 to 70 years and sleep three, four hours a day. So, so you're like, saying yeah. that, you know, in the animal kingdom, the vegans live a lot longer. A lot longer, better than the life. meat eaters. Do you want to make a pizza? How about that? Sounds you good. Like this, pizza? you need this here? Yeah, yeah, right. just grab this buckwheat crust and we'll throw just a little bit of pesto on there. We'll get a little marinara sauce and you're going to throw some toppings on there. Whatever kind of, you got olives, garlic, fresh oh. heirloom tomatoes. Cheers. Mm. It's like real pizza. Man. The nice thing about this is I'm not feeling guilty. Wow, that was probably one of the best meals I've ever had. And I feel great. I feel light, lively, energetic. And guess what? Bringing some home to you guys. Well, thanks to Chef Giuliano from the Planet Raw in Santa Monica. And uh, so, Jim? I don't. You know, there's a lot of controversy about raw food, and, and we've done raw meat on the show before, and we're not talking about that at all. We're not, we, it's not, it, this is all vegan stuff. There's no eggs, there's no uh, milk, there's no meat. So in terms of infections and all that, there's no risk of that. But and, Jim, that's not true. How many people just died of cucumbers that had uh, E. coli, salmonella? Yeah, so and pregnant, that's women, pregnant women have to, you know, be careful of certain sprouts mm -hmm. and things like that's that. Yeah. So yeah. You well, disrobe the with bacteria on it. The federal recommendations are for us to get servings of raw fruits and veggies. Right? Okay, first and, of all, no, thing, they don't right? necessarily Sky. have to be raw. Thank Some you. vegetables actually, you get more of the and vitamins if yep. you cook them. True, as yes, to like if carrots, raw. you get more of the beta tomatoes. 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 But other, but other nutrients, you get more if they're raw. Okay, so it's and a balance. It's, it's, it's I think a balance. balance. So here's the thing: I have never felt so good in my life after eating this food. Well, and you, you know what? And it lasted. Yeah, and that feeling, and that feeling lasted the entire night. In, even into the morning. The next morning, I wasn't hungry until about mid-morning, and I started to get the craving. You know what I started craving? It wasn't eggs or donuts or all the usual stuff. It was more of this. Am I going to eat all my food raw? No. Okay. I'm not going to do that, it all that's raw. That's really important that we but convey that, because that is not healthy. If you eat a huge meal of pasta and sugary stuff, you get that spike of blood sugar, and then you get the crash and the, all the cravings. I didn't have that. It was I had this sustained release of energy for the whole, for but hours Jim, and hours and hours, okay. and I felt so good. Am I supposed to eat this? <laughs> yes. Okay. Try it. It's good. Actually, that's the pizza I had. And, and this, but this is good. This is really good. Wait a minute. Wait, stop. A you have a chef. Who just said, and I can't believe none of you are freaking out. I saw Lisa's face, so I know she's upset. He just said that your body makes all the vitamins and minerals it needs no. if you give it fuel. Right. Dr. Lisa, is that medically true? No, because absolutely yeah, you can't get certain vitamin B unless you eat certain meats and things like that. We well, absolutely have, you know, there's unless you figure out Jim, how to like supplement that in your body. You can become anemic. You can, you... What do you think, Drew? And that's why vegan diets are very difficult for women, pregnant women to do healthy because right. you have to really mm -hmm. figure out how you're going to supplement certain things that your body it's needs different. that they don't get from uh, vegetables alone. This is not a diet that is, is accessible this is my... for the masses. But this is for... not a diet that most people have the money mm. nor the knowledge to supplement appropriately. They good. end up with all sorts of nutritional deficiencies. Right. We you know are what? physically built to be omnivores, so I we think, can attack vegan I think and if raw. somebody ate this compared to the crap they're eating... But Jim, but there's, there's a middle ground. There's so much ground. Yeah. There's, so much yeah. Yeah. there's a middle ground. Like so so can, we, can we agree on the takeaway here? Whether you like your is. veggies raw or cooked, it's Fill your life with veggies, because yeah. veggies, you will all agree I veggies agree. are good for you. I'm not even arguing. So, I'm saying like right raw there. and vegan is totally is inaccessible, good. and I don't think it's a healthy way for people yeah. to live That's all delicious. the time.